I just finished watching Peter Lynch talk about short selling, and I have to say, he knows what he's talking about. What's up, Ape Nation? Welcome back to the channel. Before we get started, please smash the like button so we can get this video out to more people. And while you're down there, please subscribe. It's free, and you can always change your mind. All right, Peter Lynch is viewed by many as one of the greatest investors of all time. And when he has something to say, it's worth listening to. With everything that's been happening recently with heavily shorted stocks like AMC and GameStop, I think it's interesting to consider the concept of short selling and as Peter explains he thinks there's more money to be made from long positions compared to short positions. So let's listen to what Peter has to say about short selling and then I want to mention a few things after that. Now we've also seen um, sort of today the you know the whole business of hedge funds and private equity and shadow sure. stuff um, and now they're talking about getting into the mutual fund business. You think that's yep. what do well, you think I, of that? I, I mean, hedge funds well, getting I, into I, mutual funds. Well, a couple of differences, you know, be, between a hedge fund and what I did right. in Michelin. Right. I was I could only buy long. I couldn't. Right. I couldn't short. So you couldn't sell short. Right. But right. I couldn't and buy hedge funds can't sell short. Obviously. Right. I couldn't buy commodities. I couldn't buy. I couldn't short the, the euro. I mean, they're into a lot, and they do it on leverage, a lot right. of leverage. So, you have to be careful what you get into. There are some hedge funds that are very conservative. They're only going to be twenty percent short, mostly long, and they. Because the nice thing about, occasionally. If you have an idea, if I found an idea that I thought was overpriced, I just went on to the next thing. I couldn't short it. So yeah. there, there is an advantage to be able to short, but I, I found that long only. Well, is, but with these hedge funds who get into mutual funds, I mean, they'll have to also live up under the rules that mutual funds live under. Can, yeah, uh, can, do you think they will be successful? I mean, well, I, I found the long. They're obviously attracting some. The, the hedge funds, funds that have been on the long side have done the best. I mean, they, they may have a little bit by being short, but be, being right on the long side, because obviously, if you're right, you can make, and that's, I would say, when I ran my journal, I might have been right six times out of ten. But if I'm right, I make a double or triple occasionally. It offsets the times you lose 30 or 40 percent. In yeah. fact, you could be right a third of the time as long as you have a lot of good re results. So that's, when you're short, you can only make 90 percent. When you're long, you can make tenfold or fivefold. So I think long is the way to be. Hmm. Uh, it, 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 optimistic. Optimistic, yeah. yeah. Well, I, care, careful and optimistic. <laughs> That's a Red Sox stand. Yes, yeah. Yeah. enough. It's, it's like Guys, I personally do not like short selling. Not only does it limit the amount of money you can make, and expose you to potentially unlimited losses. But personally, I also don't like the idea of betting in favor of a company's demise. Also, I don't like the problems that exist as a result of certain hedge funds abusing short selling in order to drive companies' share prices into the dirt and force those companies to file bankruptcy because they can't raise capital since their share price is so low. After everything that's happened with stocks like AMC and GME recently, I hope that hedge funds will start to think twice before rushing into shorting a company's stock. Not only are hedge funds limited in the amount of money they can make from short selling, but now they also have to worry about us retail investors coming in to rescue the companies that they target. And that does it for this video, guys. Please smash the like button so we can get this video out to more people. And while you're down there, please consider subscribing. It's free, you can always change your mind, and it helps us out tremendously. And until next time, remember why we hold.